Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are continuing the build of the Lego Elves Emily and Nocturus Showdown. We have already built the awesome laboratory and Lumia as a wolf, and we are almost ready for the showdown. But before we can do that, we have to build Nocturus cool carriage. Now, this carriage is the best fantasy steampunk thing you have ever seen, according to the pictures anyway. <laughs> so we're going to build it, we're going to see what it actually looks like. I absolutely love an old-fashioned carriage, and oh, to be able to build one in Lego with a fantasy kicker as well is just amazing. So, well, let's see how it turns out. And apparently, apparently... Apparently she just gets to sit in the back and she gets chauffeured around by her bats. I don't know that I would allow them to actually chauffeur me around. They're a bit, a bit ditzy. <laughs> they might not get her where she actually needs to go. All right, we have got, we're starting on the, well, we, we're getting the, getting the shape of this together. We have now got somewhere for Noctura to actually sit. There's a very pretty pastel yellow there. And now we get, well, all right, we're going to have moving parts, obviously. So we're going to need some technique pieces and the technique pieces require a bit of concentration to make sure you put the right bits into the right holes. So you have to count down from the top or I do anyway, I have to make sure that it is exactly as it is in the instructions or it just quite simply won't move the way it's supposed to, or it will get stuck. And, <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. So we've got this big long technique piece sticking out the front of the carriage. And now we've got some little scrolly parts on the sides, maybe to decorate, well, obviously to decorate the side of the carriage, but maybe she's gonna use them to help her get in. I don't know, I think I should stop just, just imagining what it's gonna be. This sticker here has got, it's a map. <laughs> it's like the GPS. It's gonna be the GPS for the for the carriage. And my Zo, or Mitzo, or my Zo, is gonna be the one who's in charge of driving. And I and I hope that those goggles, he kind of looks a little bit cross-eyed in behind those goggles. So I hope he can see well enough to drive safely. Cause not only is it gonna drive on the floor or on the ground, it's going to fly in the air when we put the wings on. So more technique pieces, really long ones here. Uh, I can't figure out what angle this has to go on. There, it goes on like that. There we are. So sometimes you just have to turn it around until you can actually see how it's supposed to work. And okay, those are now connected via the bottom. And Nocturne is very happily sitting on her head there. All right, so we're connecting the back to the front via a big long brown rod. And now we've got some more Technic pieces here. These look like they might be the saddles for the wheels. Yeah, I think so. That's my guess anyway, I suppose we'll find out. And we're connecting those up nice and super strong when you connect things with the Technic pieces. They do not come off easily. If you've ever tried to disassemble a Technic Lego set, I can't even say that, a Technic Lego set, then you will understand exactly what I mean. They are hard to get apart, but that means that structurally they are very, very strong. Nice big long rod out the front is now getting some more Technic pieces on it. And it's all symmetrical here at the moment, which makes it a lot easier for me. And now we've got, these are all, this is all just to make sure that our moving parts work. All the little rods, they all have to interlock with each other. And hopefully, hopefully at the end, it'll all work properly. So here's our matching one for the one that we've just done. And there's a gray knob on that. And the knob's obviously going to have things attached to them. Oh, look at that. Look, there we go. Now the... Oh, look at that. Woo, that makes it look a little bit strange when we do it like that. But there are things that are going to attach to it. And I just love moving parts. Just love it when they all attach together and they go together so well. We've got a snack now for Noctura and a goblet full of something noxious that she has possibly brewed herself. She might think it's delicious, but the colour of it is slightly horrible. <laughs> that green. <laughs> Poisonous. And some more knobs here on the top. Okay. All right, this is looking really good. We have got the last sticker of the set and this goes on the back. It's just simply got an arrow on it so that we know that this spot here is that we need to jiggle up and down to make the front move. 
and it's all connected by that brown rod underneath. It looks as though I've connected it all properly. So we now get to continue on with the actual shape of the carriage. I'm going to take Noctura out so that I can actually see what the form is on the inside here. Got some more little claws there. Maybe they're going to hold lanterns or something on the outside of the carriage. And down here we've... Oh, okay, so this is how she's going to get in. This is her step up into the carriage like a stirrup and to actually create the form or to create the, the illusion of a curved form we've now got these nice big flexible pieces and we'll see what it looks like on the other side we are currently currently just matching up both sides so that makes the curve and this is just a nice embellishment make the carriage part at the front it's really, really starting to look like a carriage. But hold on, the carriage now has bat wings on it because <laughs> it's nocturous. Yeah, so that makes sense. And and because it is, well, it, it's going into battle, it's obviously going to need some weapons. So we've got a couple of shooters and the shooters are attached here on the front. So defense or offense, probably, <laughs> knowing Noctura. All right, it's looking it's looking enough like a carriage so far. Now we need to just put, well, we need the top on it. And then maybe it'll look a little bit more carriage-like. More of these gorgeous teal pieces. I hope we see more of these in the future. And some shield pieces for the very top and that looks absolutely smashing looks fantastic and definitely definitely looks like a carriage we've got moving parts still on the front we might need some wheels so we have now got these wheels we've seen them in gold in the Disney princess sets but wow in this nice pewtery color they look the gunmetal color it looks fantastic Whoa, that is so good. All right, let's put some bat wings on and see if we can make this baby fly. So maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Let's put them on and see what happens. That's fantastic. That is just the great, greatest print. Okay, so this goes over the little knobs that we put on the top. And we just push them through and now. If we took physics into account, there is absolutely no way that those little wings on the front would get that enormous carriage up into the air. But we're going to add some magic to it and we're going to see if we can get this carriage to fly. Oh, hold on, hold on. False, false start. Let's try again. Let's flap a little harder. Ah, oh, and it's in the air. <laughs> it is really, really beautiful. The design is gorgeous, if not really feasible, but so, so cool. Look at that. Well, we've built the whole thing now, so let's have a really good investigator of it. Here in the back, behind the cobweb, is a little lair for the oh, little hidey hole for the spider, so you can stay in there. And Miso is going to go off and get some ingredients, even though we do have a container full of ingredients. But, all right, some root of... Oh! <laughs> Oh no, Miso's in the cauldron. Okay, lucky we weren't we weren't cooking that yet. So we've got some root of deliciousness. We've got a bone of a dragon in there. And he needs to get the rare flower of Aragon. Come on, where's the flower? Oh, there it is! That's a really ingenious way of carrying it. So Noctur is going to give it a bit of a stir and oh, it's starting to smoke. What do you think this recipe is going to actually make? It makes bats. All right, okay, so Noctura has been making her own horde of bats. Oh, no, hold on, except Phil's now just fallen in the cauldron. <laughs> he just came out of there, I don't think. Oh, there we go, he's very clumsy. He might have needed to cook in there a little bit longer. So she's making an army of bats. No wonder she was banished to the Shadowlands. That is a dastardly plan, and her bats have gone to get her carriage, and she's off for this showdown. Here we go, Phil is still fresh out of the cauldron, I think his wings are still wet. Emily and Lumia have come searching for her, but she's already gone, they've missed her. Alright, so they're gone off in pursuit after Noctura. Here she is, oh she's heard them, she's turning around, she's turning around, she is keen for this battle. Oh, what's gonna happen? I don't know. I don't know that it's going to be a massive battle. <laughs> Lumia is going to nibble on the bat wings. And while they are having their battle, Lumia is also going to eat a couple of bats. Look, look at this. Look, look. She's got the perfect shape melt <laughs> for eating bats. And the bats just stay in her mouth. Mmm, delicious bat meal. Right. <laughs> okay, that was just ridiculous. But I did want to show you this. 
Those little plugs on the side mean that we can actually connect her new laboratory to her existing tower. And on the other side, there's actually holes for more plugs. So I'm hoping that in future Lego Elves installments, we might actually get some more to fill out Noctura's tower. But now we have two Nocturas, so we might put this one over here by the cauldron and that way hopefully they won't argue too much and why is Lumia back? Oh Lumia has come to return the bat that she swallowed. <laughs> Poor little Phil. He only just came out of the cauldron he's having a rough day. Oh Phil here you can just rest up here. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of the set now that you have seen all of it built there is so much in it and it really is oh, it's got so much potential for cool and fun play make sure you subscribe if you haven't done it already make sure you click the little notification bell that way you see when new videos come up and I will see you with a new video very very soon in the meantime I'm gonna be playing with this set see you later bye